Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing something pretty new for me. Uh, I just figured out how to do this today. I'm one of those guys who likes to take on tasks and make original ways to complete them. So today basically what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make um, your own customizable channel design on YouTube. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not part of the partnership program, but I should be, as you see up here, Pfft, YouTube. Anyways, uh, I digress. You're going to see this is the basic layout, and it's not thing pretty to look at, but with what I'm going to be teaching today, the tools, you can customize this to make this pretty much um, your own, and the sky's the limit. So we're going to get started. The first thing you have to do is you got to screen capture your, uh, your channel. I prefer doing this because uh, it's much easier and you'll get a better look at it while you're editing. So you're going to click full screen on the Mac or uh, I think it's F11 on Windows on the keyboard. Control Command Shift uh, 3 Whoops. will take a full uh, photo, but what we want to do is Command sh uh, Shift 4 and then you could be able to crop how much you want to take and we just did it so if you want a print screen I'm pretty sure print screen is on the uh, for Windows is actually on your keyboard uh, and your print screen it while it's full screened we're gonna minimize this for now you've got your screen capture here and you're gonna use this to edit and get your own channel design but we're gonna do this in Af Adobe After Effects some people will say why don't you just do this in uh, Photoshop because a lot of people on YouTube have After Effects and not Photoshop. Because a lot of people are filmmakers. And uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to use your filming tools to mold uh, an image. A uh, still image out of it. I took a screen capture earlier today of my channel. And it was this. This was before I had my channel design. That's what I'm going to be using in Adobe After Effects. I'm running CS 5.5. You can run whatever one you want. This is what it looks like right now. We're going to start from scratch. So, you're going to drag your photo image onto the timeline and see now that we've got this thing set up. We're going to go up to a layer, new, solid. And the solid, I like to click the pipette tool come over on your channel and click one of the, the colors. I like this one here. So we click that. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's not quite white, but it's not grayish. It's kind of a dull white. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, click the arrow, transform, move down the opacity to like 47%. Come up here, make sure the white solid is selected now. Select the rounded rectangle tool, rectangle tool, and I'm going to outline the channel like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set the opacity to 100. We're going to close transform and open mask and feather this out all the way to uh, 1000. And right now, you don't see anything because this background design, we're not going to, it doesn't basically work with this channel. So what we're going to do is, now that we have this, we're going to go back to the screen capture, go up to uh, effect, color correction, change the color, go up to from, set the pipette tool, click that, and for the two color, you could change it to whatever you want. Black is my personal favorite for YouTube background set it to hue and, hue and lightness and you can see what we're going for now now that um, now that you could see a different color you could see what we were doing when we were setting the feather down here to a thousand we were creating this effect like there's a glow coming from your video it's a very cool effect and I think it's a main component while uh, having a, a customizable template if that's the word so on um, anyways we're gonna click back the white solid and what we want to do is, on your channel design, if we have this white thing fading out, if it, if it gets cut off here, as it is, and it doesn't complete the fade, it's going to look really cheesy on your channel. So we're going to move this 
yellow bar up until it kind of turns 100% black and we're gonna move it down so it kind of fades. And at the top we can leave it like that because that's where it ends anyways. But if you want, we could just do it, doesn't matter. Right there. Whoops. Center this more. Okay. So we kind of have this effect going on right now. Another thing you could do is you could white out this channel completely, uh, what you see here. In all my experience, you don't need to do that because it'll be covered anyways. But if you feel you want to do that, you can always do that later. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this tutorial. We're going to go up to Layer, New, Text Layer. And we're going to write... Typically, you write your channel name. You could do whatever you want. If you want to hit subscribe or something, I wrote No More Fail. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, I zoom out because my... We're going to go up to Rotation Tool, rotate this bad boy sideways to line up with the channel. Move it down there. Zoom in and see, is that straight or not? That's not straight. Whoops. And I'm rushing here again. It's a straight it's gonna get for me. Okay, so we put it right there. We're gonna click this text, Command D or Control D to duplicate. We're gonna move it down here. I'm gonna zoom out again. And we're gonna select the rotation tool and rotate this the complete opposite way. And we're gonna move that down there. Zoom back in. I can make any last adjustment if necessary. Use your channel as a guiding point to see if it's straight or not. And then kind of sort of line it up. That's not straight enough. And I kind of, since I'm in a rush, I could make this a bit better, but that's what I'm gonna stick with right now. So we got this down. Now we're going to add some effects to the text. No more fill number one we will do. Put it to the top here. No more fill number one. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, the first effect that we'll be doing. Effects and presets over here in this. We're going to type up ramp and we're going to drag that onto A. A. <laughs> there we go. Boom. And that looks pretty cool. But I like the red because that's the way you see here that my text looks. You can leave it like that too though, but it looks pretty cool. But we're going to make it red. So make start uh, color red, end color, we'll make it black. So start ramp, we'll put right there. And what you can do is you can move it around and stuff. I used to, I like to make it a radial ramp. It looks pretty cool. We'll move it right there. And the end of the ramp you could also do. Put that right there. And adjust. You know, it looks pretty cool. Make it look pretty like a silhouette. So I'd say put it like in between. Make uh, the end of the ramp further away. Like there. Right there. Do the same thing for no more fail. Number two, ramp. Start color, red, black end color. Start of ramp, we'll put it right there. End of ramp, right there. And you got this kind of cool fade. It makes your text come to life a bit more. But we're not done with the text yet, don't get me wrong. Hold your horses. Okay, we're gonna go back to no more fail. Go to effect, stylize, that's glow. Now, glow, we're going to bring up the, th the threshold t so that there's a bit of glow coming onto the text, like just a bit. For me, that's about at 72. 
ish for this certain situation. Glow radius, we're gonna bring down to. I like glow radius at eight because it gives like a drop shadow effect, and it kind of looks like your your text is 3D. And the glow intensity, I'm gonna bring down to like point two or point yeah point six is fine. So it kind of blends in, and you don't get a harsh glow. It's just to make your text look 3D. I don't use this glow effect to make a glow on your text. If you want to, you can. But I think it looks really cool the way it is like that. Okay, and we're gonna move over and we do the same thing. See, look, look at the difference between that and that by just the glow effect. We'll move on to that now. We're gonna do uh, effect glow. And we'll bring the threshold up to like 72 radius. Wait, no. Eight. Intensity will bring down. There we go. And then we got this sort of effect on it. It looks pretty cool. Looks very nice, very sexy. Very poppy. It pops out a lot. Now what you're going to do from here is I think that you could finish it right here if you wanted to. That's what I'm going to teach you guys for today. When you want to finish this, Command Shift C to pre-comp that up. And then you've got a pre-composition preset. Again, I'm going to say this. If you want to block this out, you you can, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this over. Uh, usually this will be over here. You're gonna bring it over here to make it one frame. You're gonna come up to a composition, add to render queue, set the best settings, best full resolution, okay. Now you're gonna do Quick time, you will do JPEG sequence and OK. Render that out. It should take about a second, literally. And then you'll be on the desktop and you'll check it out and be like, OK, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's see this one for a second. See, that one's a bit blurry. So we're not going to use that one. I like this one better. See, that one's a bit blurry too. That's a bit better. Okay, so we're going to rename this, we're going to rename this, uh, how about we rename it, YouTube template, template, or whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to open up your YouTube, and we're going to go up here to channel settings, uh, remove what you have now, choose file, go to YouTube template, that's what I called it, so that's what I will use. Okay, and make sure the, the background color that you used in your YouTube template photo, your screen capture, uh, that you, you edited, um, you adjust here. So if you chose black as a background color in your photo, you come in here and you select black and accept. If you choose red and it's red there, you make it red. Otherwise, here it might be it fixed, but do not make it fixed, make it scrolling. I prefer that. You're done editing, you get to see what you've created. And you get to see how beautiful it looks. It's a very nice channel design, it's very nice, very beautiful. Very basic. Again, you can make this 10 times more complex. It all depends to what you can do and what your capabilities are and what you do with uh, the basics that I've given. So guys, let me know if you've used this tutorial so I can check out your channel see what you did with this effect. And uh, as usual, comment, like, subscribe, uh, let people know about this. If you have any more questions, I won't hesitate to ask. I know I've been away for a while, uh, but I'm back. So that's it. Goodbye. Peace.